Scanning for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog podcast, this time talking about Tom Baker's story, Suburban Hell. Ah yes, the exciting world of Mad Uncle Tom. We've been loving his storylines, and it's back to individual tales again of him and Louise Jameson wandering around space and time. Now, Suburban Hell is perhaps my all-time favourite big finish Tom Baker story, and that's saying something. And I don't say it lightly either. Because, let's face it, there's been some particularly marvellous audios. But Suburban Hell is right up there. It's Saturday night tea time in 1977 all over again. Suburban Hell. Somewhere in a suburb of North London, there is a crisis. More than a crisis. A positive disaster. Belinda and Ralph are expecting four for supper. And there is no Marie Rose sauce for the prawns Marie Rose. All in all, the evening couldn't possibly get worse. Until the doorbell rings, bringing the Doctor and Leela into their dinner party. They've got a crisis too. A temporal rookage has sent the TARDIS to another time zone entirely, meaning they might have to endure a whole evening in Belinda's company. But the Doctor and Leela aren't the only uninvited guests tonight. There is a strange fog falling on the road outside, and that fog, savage, blue-skinned monsters with dinner party plans of their own. Because it's not Prawn Marie Rose on their menu, it's people. As a premise, one of the things you do as a writer is something called yoking, where you take two disconnected ideas and put them together and see what happens. It worked particularly well on old comedy shows like Spitting Image. What you do is you take one thing and add it to another. Makes complete sense. So, if you could imagine a pitch meeting... And the pitch meeting would have one phrase. It's Doctor Who meets Abigail's party. Yeah, that's it. That's all you need. You've got that 70s comedy of manners going on, as well as an actual bona fide Doctor Who story. It's alien invasion. It's trapped without TARDIS. It's the 70s, or almost. You see, because these stories are set in the Tom Baker, Louise Jameson 1977 run, you feel and you buy into the fact that all of the stories will be taking place around then. Let's not take into consideration things like unit dating. Let's just accept things as they are. And the minute we accept things for what they are is the minute that we're tricked. And that's one of the things the story does very well. Yes, there are no major villains from the past or anything you've ever heard of before, because that's not what it's about. And that's what Tom Baker's reign was doing. Let's face it, he only ever met the Cybermen the once and the Daleks twice on TV. And none of these things are really worth going into. No. What we've got here is something glorious, something magnificent, and something involving, well, more 70s references that you can shake a stick at. So rather than blab on and on about how brilliant this story is, I'll let you hear the trailer and make up your own mind. But if you are considering, at any point, jumping in and trying a Tom Baker audio, and let's face it, you know you want to, go for this one. You won't be disappointed. A short podcast, yes, but mainly saying that there's nothing else to say that wouldn't be a spoiler. So go away and listen to this, and I'll speak to you very soon. Be seeing you. Coming soon from Big Finish Productions, The Fourth Doctor Adventures. Suburban hell. Bit of a hiccupette in the catering department. I don't suppose you'd have a jar of mayonnaise about the house? This is suburban England, late 1970s by the decor. There's mixed nuts in the sideboard. Would you be a darling? Put them in a dish for me. We find ourselves in dire need of a few electronic oddments for the purpose of running repairs. And what are you driving? The doctor has a TARDIS. Well, it's one of those funny makes, isn't it, from Eastern Europe? So there is a wrinkle in time in the street outside. 
Yes, and the TARDIS has slipped to the far side of that instability. I do not understand this temporal wreckage. Only that it caused the TARDIS to disappear just as soon as we stepped out of it. Curious. This picture. Woman with a blue face. Oh, I should say so. Look at the sky in the background. Well, I see a stars. Stars, exactly. This particular astronomical arrangement is visible only from a point deep within the heart of the constellation Monoceros. Thing is, we were wondering about the Hopkinses. The people who used to live here. No one wants to say about them. Was there some scandal? What's that noise? Are we expecting someone for dinner? Only you. What is it you want? You have three minutes more to surrender the vessel. What's it on about? I don't know. Uh, you two got a boat? I think them blue things might be uh, eating him. Well, Doctor, can't say it's not been a good innings, but this time the chips are down and here comes the ketchup. Big Finish. We love stories. You've been listening to the Tin Dog Podcast. Available on RSS, iTunes, Stitcher, Audio Boom, and Tumblr. Doctor Who and its associated works are copyright of the BBC. No infringement is intended. You can contact the show, donate, buy merchandise, or find out more about my other projects by visiting the Tin Dog Podcast homepage and clicking on the links. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance. Mm-hmm.